She's so passionate. You know, you make me feel soft-spoken. I want to speak like you now. How do you... I'm going to try. I like that style, though. It's like, ooh, forceful. Find my brave. I got it. Listen, uh, the next speaker, she's an account manager for Improving, a software services firm. And uh, she's also a Lindy Hop enthusiast. Her vision is to see a better world created by thriving businesses that are delivering their best because she believes businesses focused on impact uh, that can transform the lives of people. You know how they have that six degrees of Kevin Bacon thing? Well, she beats that. They have this new thing called the three degrees of Bethany Hilton because she's so connected. So welcome for me, Bethany Hilton. June 2015. At the time, I was working for a branding agency in New York when my boss called me into her office and she said, we're going to be pivoting the business, and if you can't guess what that means, we won't be needing your services anymore. So this launched me into the new and exciting world of job searching, where I found out firsthand the power of having a power network. Within three months, without filling out a single job application, with no college degree, I had 30 job opportunities in five different major cities, all because of the power of my network. So we all want this. We want job opportunities. We want people we can fall back on in tough situations. We want sales opportunities, mentors, friends. But in order to do this, we need to meet people. And if you haven't guessed, these people on the slides, those are my people. That's my network. So how do you go about this? How do you establish connections with people? How do you build relationships? How do you set yourself apart from the 50 other people they may have met that week? How do you start to form those relationships that will really establish the base of your network? So I have a simple system for you that I'd like to share. It's been really effective for me, and it's hopefully easy to remember. That's the goal. So three things. One is remember, two, get curious, and three, follow up. So Dale Carnegie said a long time ago that to the person you're meeting, their name is the sweetest word in any language. And the reason that this is so important is because every human being wants to feel valuable. They want to feel important. And if I can remember your name, you feel that I value and care about you, you feel important. So how do you do this? How do you remember someone's name? It's such a difficult yet simple thing to do. And like anything else, it's deliberate practice. So repeat it to yourself in the conversation, introduce each other, and even at the coffee bar as you're standing around, just kind of go around the room and point out different individuals you've met. And the, one of the most powerful things that I've done is meet someone, hear about their business, and then turn around and introduce them to someone else and share their business for them. So Joe, this is Amanda. Amanda, this is Joe. Joe works for this incredible organization called Ignite DFW, et cetera, et cetera. You get the point. And this is a big win for everybody in the conversation because Joe feels that I've been listening to him. I get to internalize the conversation, and Amanda feels drawn into the conversation. So this is my gym in New York and my gym crowd there. One quick caveat, please do not use people's names too often. I would show up to my gym and it would be, good morning, Bethany, good evening, Bethany, good to see you, Bethany, and it would kind of get routine and basic. So instead, try to use it in unique places. And if this seems like a lot of work to remember something so trivial, I want to state the case for why it's important. This guy here, I met him and with just a first name was able to connect with him on LinkedIn, get to know him, and establish a relationship. So, great. You can label people now. We've made some progress. That's good. But can you get more than that? Can you get three personal details on a business card about this person? And how can you do that without it being super awkward and uncomfortable? One of the things that you can do, I, I want to point out, I've already shared with you that I worked for a branding agency. I moved from New York. This is my family on the screen, and I had a boss. So at this point, you could ask questions about any of those different pieces. You could ask about my life in Rochester, New York. You could ask about my time at the branding agency or my really large family. All of those pieces are kind of avenues I've given you into my life that you can ask more questions. And as you do, I'll continue to talk, and you'll have even more avenues you can explore. And then follow up. I have given out boxes and boxes of business cards, and very few people actually reach out. So reach out, because if you do, you'll be one of the few. And then that will be actually really helpful, those, having those details on the business card, because when you reach out to me, you can send me an email and say, hey, I loved learning about New York. We'd love to hear how you've transitioned from New York to Dallas and how that's going for you. And all of a sudden, you have a further reason to connect. So that's the system. It's remember and get curious and follow up. 
And then I just want to say one more thing before I get off the stage. So building a power network is important to further your own personal goals and ambitions, but my hope really is that you will use this system not just to do that for yourself, but to really give and serve through the power of your network as you can create incredible things through introducing others, other people to each other and to ideas and new opportunities and all that. So please do that. And um, I would love to hear how this goes for you. I'm sure right after this, you'll get to meet a new person. You'll get to kind of utilize the new skills that I've given you. So reach out and send me an email. I'm pretty responsive. I would love to hear from you, hear how it goes for you, if you have any good ideas. I've written more about this topic at my blog as well. So you can check me out there and then send me an email. And when you connect with me, it will strengthen my network and yours. Thank you.